What's going on guys? It's the Bourbon Hunter. You know what time it is. And I guess none of y'all knew that my name was Hunter, so there you go. Let's go find some whiskey. Yeah, Penelope fans out there, we got two barrel strength options here. And from what I've heard, it's really good. So you should definitely come and check this out because I don't think that's a bad price at all for this. This is Char 3. 110 proof. A little barrel dovetail here. If y'all don't know how to look at the batch numbers on these, they're right here below it. In the far corner, batch number nine. Check that out. I don't know if any of y'all have heard, but C923 is starting to hit the shelves and it is 133 proof. It is going to be an absolute unit and I cannot wait to get my hands on one. So if you see some, let me know. All right, check this out, a little whistle pick, summer stock. All right, so I did actually get a chance to try this the other day, and I will say, I thought it was a very, very gimmicky bottle, but actually, it's not bad, considering how hot it's been recently. For $75, it's might, it might be worth picking up. You should definitely check that out. Russell's 10 for a pretty good price here at the store, as well with the old Matthew McConaughey logo on this bad boy. Ooh, Yellowstone store pick. Every single store has one of these, but this one's 102 proof. I don't know why I thought I maybe saw a higher proof version in South Carolina. Maybe that's not true, but and you got the 93 and Heaven Hill. I got to try this the other day for the first time in a very long time, and I did enjoy it. I've seen it for maybe six or seven bucks cheaper, but for, for 104 proof, four roses, you can't really go wrong with that. Another Four Roses single barrel. Which one of these Four Roses single barrel is the best? Which warehouse and which barrel number is actually the one to get? I'm gonna grab one of those soon. Larceny barrel proof, everybody's looking out for these recently. I'm excited to see what this release from this winter is gonna be. Super excited to see that. Oh man, a big liter bottle from the Kentucky Derby. How about that? Are these just a gimmick or are they actually collector's items let me know a little early times you're gonna check it oh man i don't know if i'll ever find another one is this new are they starting to put it on the front right here and cover up interesting or are these really old labels because this one looks normal and you got this one all right looking for the slam dunks if any of y'all don't know what a slam dunk is it's when the wax actually drips down onto the label and they're just cool to have. There's not very many of them. And I have passed multiple in videos and not looked. So check this out. A little Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. These are the best. These are really, really good. If you're a Jack Daniels fan or just a fan of high proof whiskey, this is a good bottle to grab, especially for the price. Will it pot still as well as Look at these. I picked one of these up last week at Total Wine and it was much more expensive, so I wish I would have grabbed that this week. Wish I didn't already have one. A little three bottle bundle. Look at that price for four rows of single barrel. That's not bad at all. All right, so we have the Creekville Spirit Cullen Sweet Treat store pick from Maker's Mark. I got to try this the other day and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Sean, tell us a little bit more about it. So my wife and I went out to the Maker's Mark Distillery and we brought our son with us. Um, we went through the process of tasting all of the uh, stave profiles separately. We also got to try the Maker's Cash Drink that we were gonna be blending those stave profiles into. Um, after going through five different combinations and probably about an hour and a half worth of tasting. The whole point of, of this journal, spirit, spiritual journal, journey, spiritual journey, why? Uh, we ended up with the stave profile that you see on the label of 3311 and 2. Uh, nice, sweet, uh, kind of toasty caramel flavor to it, some brown sugar on it. So with having a sweeter profile, that's where the name Cullen Sweet Treat came from. Since our one-year-old was, was with us when we were at the distillery, we decided to throw him on the bottle. Sweet. Thanks. Yeah.
So we started looking around and obviously the Penelope's are there, but this is something that I've been keeping my eye on. This is made by Fred No and a Japanese master blender. So thankfully they're lowering the price, kind of doing a little rebranding. I think they came out the gate a little high on their pricing. The Southern Star double rye caught my eye. I love a double rye as well as all of these four roses. I have been looking for the 10 year four roses for a little while now found this 10 year McKenna. I've just been trying to look for different 10 years to drink aside from my Eagle Rare. The Benchmark Single Barrel is definitely up there on my list. I love it, it's great, check it out. They have plenty of these here. If you want some, come get them. I'm gonna get one. I know. Let's go for a walk. Yeah, so got my entire bourbon wall back there. My allocateds are up at the top right. Okay. So I've got a Willet and a Willet Rye. And then the other two that I have are my special series ones I got right now. So I got that Maker's, uh, I think it's the Nantucket blend. And then that Woodford Reserve. That yeah. It's like unfiltered as you can get. Yeah, man, that's what everybody's looking yeah. for. And that, that Carolina State of Mind. Yeah. This one. Nice. Look at that stay profile. Have y'all have y'all heard about the new cellar aged coming out or anything? I have not. Okay. No. Those are just now hitting stores around town, so okay. I didn't know if you've heard about that at all. And then, uh, so my top shelf is somewhere like my nicer things. I've got okay. something that something's in there that we would like kind of call allocated that we still limit to like one per customer, which is uh, like these two Jefferson Oceans right there. Okay. The weeded and the rye. Jefferson's Ocean is like crazy smooth. Yeah, so that's that 26, that's a 26 yeah. voyage. Mm -hmm. That's the best one I've had in a long time. And then um, I got another one that's kind of cool, the Whistle Pig Summer Stock. Oh yeah. Down there at the end. We got I, a decent amount of that in. There's the uh, Willet Snack Pot still. Willet. Yeah, there it goes, outdoor. Stop it, get some help. The uh, old school benchmark. 14, yeah, 14 maybe. Bucks. Oh, it's the old number eight brand. Yeah, 14. Yeah, that's, that's cool though. And then uh, it's 13 for the, the 750. That's really not a terrible price for mm -hmm. this single barrel barrel proof from Jack Daniels. Have you had the rye? Yes. Yeah? What I had some think? yesterday. <laughs> okay. It's phenomenal. Yeah, I'm sure. It is phenomenal. If you ever mm -hmm. get the chance to try it or buy a bottle, yeah. just do it, man. You won't be disappointed. It's 130 proof is kind of where it sits around, but I've seen yeah. some up to 142. I'd love to get a bottle of that. All right, what else? Uh, so the Noah's Mills, the Noah's Mill is like really popular right now. It's not allocated right. by like any means, but it's another cool one that we have. And then we move a lot of the Basil Hayden line. Okay, y'all uh, ever have any of their 10 year stuff? No, we don't get a lot of their age stuff, uh, but the the toast, and then when we have the smoke in, it sells real quick, and then that red wine cast finish, it's a lot drier. Okay, a red but wine cast finish. Yeah, my bourbon guys that come in tell me great things about That's it. That's the one, huh? Yeah. What, what do y'all do with your allocated stuff? Do y'all put it in the shelf, or you kind well, of have we, a loyalty program? Or? No, we don't do loyalty programs. We've okay. done raffles in the past, but it kind of just made everyone mad, and it was like a lot of hassle. Yeah. So our rule is you get like, one per day per customer. Okay. That way we can try and make sure we spread the wealth. And then every, there's three stores that the owner has and everyone's a little bit different. Okay. So we'll have ours up there at the top shelf. Other ones will be like behind the counter or we'll have like a special table for them. Gotcha. We just like to have them yeah. up there for people to see. I got you. Yeah. Cool, man. That's awesome. People so love store picks. The ones that we have right now is the Rebel, which we're starting to run out of. It's flying. Yeah. Good. Uh, and then I think it, it's run forty nine right now, and that uh, uh, it was like forty nine dollars. Yeah, and it was for like, a hundred and twenty proof single barrel. I believe so. Let me that's, double check on that's that. That's not bad. Yeah, forty nine ninety nine. Our other store pick is what I'm getting really good feedback on. It's the Yellowstone. Oh, okay. So the regular Yellowstone wasn't getting great reviews from what I saw online, but this Yellowstone, all of my bourbon guys were absolutely loving it. We were doing a, to get them moving, we were doing a lot of bundles. So $149 Maybe. for a $60 bottle mm -hmm. and a blend. I believe so. That's yeah. not a bad, that's not a bad deal yeah. considering what some stores around here will charge Oh, for that. we don't do any of that upselling really? stuff. We kind of just do 
you know, market okay. price. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, no, it's awesome. Our whole thing is just trying to get, you know, everyone the chance to yeah. try things like that. That's awesome, yeah. man. Overall, great haul today. Super excited. Single barrel barrel proof with the South Carolina selected recipe of OESF. 10 year, 10 month for $75. Super excited about that. A little Sazerac rye for $25. If you can get this anywhere under 30, I think it's a good rye to have on the shelf for any form of occasion. And I picked up this dumb little thing just for the heck of it. It's a gag gift to a buddy, but I don't like the juice inside. So as always guys, thanks for watching. Check us out here, consider supporting. And the Discord, join it. We have so many cool things happening over there with people talking about bottle reviews, and upcoming giveaways, so make sure you join soon. And as always, Bourbon Hunter, out.